I'm going to show you how to sync your Winamp playlists up into the Google Music Cloud service. Um, currently, Google Music will allow you to sync your iTunes library, your Windows Media Player library, or certain uh, folders of music into the cloud. But I use Winamp, and I don't want my entire library stored. Only maybe certain playlists, like things I've rated three stars or more, or certain other maybe uh, you know holiday playlists or whatever. Um, so we're going to use Winamp open here. Um, really what we're going to end up doing is syncing a Winamp playlist into Windows Media Player and then syncing Windows Media Player up with Google Music using certain playlists. So I have Windows Media Player open here with three playlists and here's my Winamp library and the uh, important file locations are here's this ML folder which I'll put notes on. This ML folder holds these strange M3U8 files and these are really where Winamp stores the playlists that you save. So if I go into audio here and do a search for JAWS, there's the JAWS soundtrack. And I take that and then create a new playlist called JAWS and here it is. And my playlist is new playlist called JAWS. If I go into this ML folder, wherever it is, here's a new file that was just created. Notepad. And here it is. Here is that JAWS playlist. These, are these files that were in my JAWS playlist. So I'm actually done with Winamp now. I can just shut that down. Next thing you want to do is go to uh, your music folder. I'm just going to the standard music library, create a new uh, new file. I call this Jaws.m3u. I don't think it likes M3u8, but it seems to accept M3u. So Jaws.m3u and uh, Windows Media Player will find it, but it seems to be faster if you shut down Windows Media Player and bring it back up. It seems to be quicker at recognizing the new playlist file that's there. Um, so what I'll do is go back to this M3U8 file, which I actually have open here. Copy the contents. Go to this JAWS at M3U, open it up, and paste in the exact same data, and click Save. And you saw the JAWS did pop up there. And if I click on it, hey, there you go. So I've just imported this JAWS playlist now into Windows Media Player, and, and there you go, it does work. So I can now shut down Windows Media Player. Go over to my Google Music Manager. I suggest just, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Go to Options, Advanced, Change, and just say yes, and tell it to do Windows Media Player again. And then that'll trigger a rescan of the Windows Media Player information. And when it's done, uh, you'll get the option to sync an entire library or specific playlists. So, give it a minute or so. Almost. I hope. I do have about 8,000 tracks, so it could take a little while. Okay, so it found 8,411 tracks. I will uh, select songs to upload by playlist. Next. And here's, I already have two playlists synced. It's 
this one called All Three More and Classical. And now here's that new Jaws one. What I do is click on Jaws, click Next, and sure, if you want to do it automatically, that's fine. And that's it. Now when this this tool, it may look a little strange while it's running and look like it's not finding all the tracks and the playlist may seem empty, but it will upload at that point. So then you get all your tracks stored up into the Google Music Cloud and uh, have the album put up there and you can create uh, put it in whatever playlist you want at that point. Thanks.